Hey everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about skin texture. I had an experience a few months ago and it was quite traumatizing. I know traumatizing is quite a strong word, but it did really make me feel bad. My skin has always been clear, save for a few pimples here and there. Maybe the worst that my skin will get is maybe two pimples at the same time. So it's always been clear. I've always been taking care of my skin nonstop. But one day after a series of trips to the beach, I was in Bali. My skin suddenly started to feel like there was some sort of weird texture on it. And because it was so new to me, I actually thought that it was sand on my face. So I was in Bali then and when I got back to my hotel room, I went to the washroom and I washed my face and I used an exfoliator because I thought my skin had sand on it. So after I exfoliated my face and rinsed it off, I looked in the mirror and my skin looked clear but I could still feel the texture there, the same sandy texture and I didn't understand why. And so I ignored it and every time I would wash my face, I would keep exfoliating it and exfoliating it and exfoliating it every single day or every single wash. So that would be like about twice a day. For some reason, my skin never cleared up. In fact, it became so bad that maybe in about a week to 10 days later, you could visibly see the skin texture and I felt so bad that I couldn't wear any makeup because Piling on foundation on top of it would only make it look worse. I couldn't wear highlighter. And for somebody who loves makeup as much as I do, that was such a big deal. Like it really felt bad. And I didn't know what was wrong because I felt like I was taking care of my skin. I still had the same nighttime skincare regimen and I always removed my makeup before going to bed. So I was very, very confused. I did a lot of research and I tried on a lot of products in order to cure that, but nothing seemed to work. So fast forward, I just wanted to share this video with you guys because I wanted to show you exactly what I did to get rid of that skin texture. It sort of happened overnight, so I don't know what the reason is, but according to research and consulting my dermatologist, it turns out that my skin was actually very, very dry then. It may be because I was always under the sun and in the beach and exposing my skin to a lot of aggressors. It may also be because I was very dehydrated and I didn't drink enough water. So of course, the skin became really dry. And the doctor told me to think about skin like lupa, like land. So you know when the soil is very, very dry, it becomes really porous and cracky and stuff like that. If you exfoliate that, already cracked surface, then you're just gonna get it more cracked, right? It doesn't make sense. So I was exfoliating and exfoliating and exfoliating and I was only making my skin texture worse because I was aggravating it more and more and more every time I washed it. But what I should have been doing was drink more water, hydrate it and moisturize my skin even more. If you think about it, if you have a dry land or a dry surface area that you add water to, that's slowly by slowly gonna rehydrate it, bring back its life, moisturize it and make it healthy again. And that's exactly what I did to my skin. Now, it did happen overnight. I felt the skin texture overnight. But curing it is a totally different story. It takes so much longer. I know that when you're having a bit of skin trouble, you want to mess with your skin even more. You want to try out all the products, buy all the products because you're desperate to cure your skin. But what I'm telling you now is that you should actually let your skin breathe and just drink a lot of water and hydrate it. I tried using the Alpha H, which is like an acid sort of mild peel. Um, it's called the Alpha H Liquid Gold and it did help my skin the first time I used it, but the second time I used it, it just really aggravated my skin more. When I woke up, my skin was all red and patchy. It just felt so sensitive and I knew that I wasn't doing good for my skin. So I went to the dermatologist and she told me that I should stop exfoliating and I should stop using these peels because our skin only really needs to be exfoliated once every 28 days. And to think I was exfoliating my skin twice a day when you only need to be exfoliating once every 28 days. So can you imagine how bad I was treating my skin? I was trying to save it, but I was actually 
really irritating it even more. So the very top layer of our skin is called our epidermis and that is a very very thin layer and by exfoliating it every single day I was taking out that layer and leaving my skin even more exposed to all these environmental aggressors. That's why I was getting a lot of irritation and I was so subject to the sun's UV rays and all of these harmful things because there was no longer that epidermis layer to protect my skin. Um, it's just a good thing that I remember to wear sunblock but it could have gotten way way worse and that's why when I peeled it on top of all the exfoliating my skin became really red and really really sensitive the number one thing that I recommend if you find yourself in a situation like this is to really hydrate and moisturize your skin now I know that there are a lot of moisturizers out there and serums and stuff like that but when your skin becomes really sensitive, you want to stick to products that are more organic and that are more soft on the skin, especially when it's very, very sensitive. And what I recommend you guys using that really helped me out is something very affordable, and I'm sure you guys are going to be happy to know that. It's actually the aloe vera plant. And I'm not talking about the aloe vera that comes in a gel type that you buy at Watson's or stuff like that. I'm talking about the actual plant because that way, all of the juices and all the things that can hydrate your skin are still fresh and in the plant. They don't take out anything to preserve it. So what I do with the aloe vera plant is I cut off a leaf and then I take out the sharp ends or the sides using a knife and I cut it up into pieces. I split it in half and you can already see there's a juicy gel-like texture. I just scrape that onto a little bowl or you can also blend it if you like which is going to make it easier and it's gonna give you this goopy, sticky, transparent consistency, which is what I have over here right now. I just cleansed my face and applied this all over. Now it's gonna feel really gross, it smells kinda weird, but I swear to you, I did this for maybe three, four days straight and it really made my skin feel a lot better and look a lot better. So you just lather this onto your skin, leave it in for maybe 15 minutes and then rinse it off and just repeat whenever your skin needs a little hydration. If you guys are battling skin texture or problems with your skin like I used to, then do give this a try. I highly recommend it. It's affordable and you honestly have nothing to lose. So that is it for today guys. I just really wanted to share this video because I know some of you out there are battling with this and when I was battling with it, I was researching like crazy about how to fix it. And now that I found my solution, I hope that it can help you fix your skin problems. If you guys like this video, then leave me a thumbs up, a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!